All right, something a little different today. I still don't have my car. I've got the wife's, but I gotta pick her up in a little while at work. There used to be a really old house here, and it was falling down, um, but a really old house. And uh, I never see anybody here. I've been wanting to ask for permission to metal detect. And uh, I saw somebody here today, so they said, yeah, I could metal detect. So hopefully we'll find some cool old stuff. I don't know. Let me get fired up here and see if we can pull some old silvers or something out. All right, we got a ton of iron in here everywhere. But I got one screamer. Right there. So I don't know. We're gonna see if it's something. pinpointer and I may end up yet using it <clears throat> but uh, there's so much iron there's so much iron in here that it's probably just gonna fall on other stuff okay we got it out right there somewhere ouch that hurt right on a piece of cement An old, old padlock. <clears throat> so we're on the board with something. All right, let's bag it, and uh, we'll keep looking around. Okay, we got a screamer. 79 to 80, 81. Gosh, there's so much iron in here, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's that gutter tube. for a silver dime. All right, let's keep going. Ninety-four. There's just stuff everywhere here. But there is a screamer right in there. this that is liable to be our our target it's like a turnbuckle I'm afraid that's probably our screamer throw it in the bag and we'll check our hole No. 
Unless there's two of them. Yeah, I can't even get a shovel in right there. Let me set that down. Too noisy. Huh. Well, there you go. That's like a concrete tool. That's for doing like the edges on the cement on a sidewalk or something. And I wouldn't say it's all that old by looking at it. It's got a plastic handle. All right, let me get this filled in and we'll keep, keep hunting around. There's bound to be some old silver here somewhere. This one's uh, lower than I'd like to dig, but it's not deep and it's got a very pure sound. So I figured we'll, I almost, almost walked by it. Hopefully it's in that little clump right there. It is. day at the beach it acted up on me. It's working now. Well that's ringing on something still in the ground. But I don't think that's our signal. I think we had our signal out. Possibly not. There's a piece of glass. I don't know. Let's see if we can dig out whatever this is in the ground. Yeah, no, the thing we were listening to wasn't very deep. What is this on, under my leg? root. Yeah, no, it's still... It's still in the... It's still in the ground. This is still on. It's right here in the side. I almost wasn't going to dig it, but then I thought, well, it could be jewelry or something, so I figured I'd better stop and dig it. Alright, that's that. Let's see if we can stick to the high tones. Alright, we got one here. 94 to 96. Looks fairly shallow. There is just so much iron around here. And I'm seeing a lot of beaver tail pull tabs. Yeah. Ninety-four, ninety-five. Right there somewhere. Piece of 
then. That's going to be our high signal. Was hoping again for a silver coin, but don't know what that oh, part of a door latch. deadbolt, you know, a piece of a deadbolt lock. We'll take it. Alright, let me fill this in and see if we can get on something else. Give you an idea of the signals here. Just goes off on everything. I'm just listening for a screamer. High signals. See, 70, 72, that's not bad, but the clad dime is a 77 on this. So we're hoping for silver, so I'd say we want to dig the 80s and up. Anyways, I'm going to keep swinging. Hopefully we can pick something decent out of here. All right, let me keep going. 79.80 Right there, somewhere Oh, sand is just falling apart There's Something right there I suspect that's our, that's our signal. Piece of aluminum gutter strap or something. Oh, it's a piece of soffit. It's got the vent holes. All right, well, we'll get it out of here. Shove it in the bag. All right, let's keep going. Bound to be some coins here. 89, 90. It's a little bit deep. Oh, there's so many signals, you can't find a quiet place to set the detector coil. squirt bottle or anything. That's a quarter. I can see George right there. I don't know that it's old though. I think it's just a state's quarter. We'll take it. That's our first coin. Gosh, I'm running out of room in my pouch just with a couple of large pieces of junk we dug. Fill this back in. So we got a coin anyway. It's not old. 
there's bound to be some old stuff here though because like I say the house was probably built in the late 1800s or early 1900s that was it all right let's keep swinging Eighty-eight to ninety. Not very deep. <laughs> Mosquitoes have found me. It's in that clump there. piece of some kind of metal. All right. Let's keep going. A ton of signals everywhere, but that one's low for a dime, but it's shallow. Um, Like I say, I can't find a quiet place to set the machine other than to put it down and stop moving it. I was going to skip this. And then I thought, well, they had half times. I don't know what something like that would ring up. So I figured I better, I better dig it. I don't hear a thing. Corner working, yeah. Hmm. Well, we'll put another scoop in here. Although I would think a pinpointer would hear it unless it was super deep, and I don't think it was. That was one of the appealing things about it. it didn't seem deep. Check it with the big machine. See, it's looking kind of ugly on the on the map. That doesn't look like a coin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's more junk, but we'll. says it's there. Oh, wait a minute. Let's look at the depth again. No. say that's probably it. Not sure really what that is. Um, could be like a trim off of a window crank on a car. I don't know. We'll take it. If it turns out to be anything, I'll sure I'll show it to you in a wrap up. All right, that's in the bag. That's off. Let's put our dirt back. We'll keep swinging around. There's bound to be it. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> the guy that told me I could hunt here, he said he owned it. Now he's, now he said that. Uh, I guess he's wanting to leave, and, and uh, he apparently doesn't own the place. He's afraid someone's going to say something. So. 
I'm going to head out. I'll see you at the wrap-up. All right, let's do a quick wrap-up. That's what we found. I don't know, I was only there for probably an hour or so, hour and a half maybe. But uh, the guy that I spoke to when I first went by there kind of led me to believe he owned the place. I asked him if he owned the place, and he said, yeah, and I asked about metal detecting, and he said, sure. Well, I didn't have my machine with me, so I ran home and got all my stuff and came back. And uh, I hunted around for probably an hour, hour and a half, something like that, trying to cherry-pick a old silver coin iron everywhere just lots of trash everywhere um, this is what we got one beaver tail pull tab just some bits of metal just scrap foil did get an old turnbuckle a big chunk of lead this I believe is like the, the bezel from like a window crank on an old car or something uh, Cut Yale lock. This, I believe, is uh, it's Hong Kong on the bottom. It was a little toy, like a little toy bulldozer or something, but it's missing most of it. <laughs> we had uh, a big piece of brass from a, a deadbolt. And one coin, and it's not even old. It was a 2,000 quarter. It's a uh, state's quarter. So yeah, I don't know. I suspect somebody has already scoured that place with a metal detector with their discriminator turned way up high, so they cherry-picked it already, I would say. But I'm glad at least I got to go swing a coil there for a little bit, so I don't feel like I missed out on anything by not having gotten to hit it before they knocked the house down and stuff. But anyway, that's it. I hope I can put a little video together and it's watchable. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff. And you'll miss the next one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.